Welcome to an Algebra 1 sample question number 5. For this question we have which points are on the graph of the equation negative 3x plus 6y plus 5 is equal to negative 7. Select all that apply. So remember when they say all there might be more than one answer. It could also be exactly one. You never know. So in, before I start, I do want to mention that this is a calculator question. So you'll see this icon when it's a calculated question. So if you want, you can use a calculator to try to figure these all out. All right, so let's start with the very first one, A. So they're saying that if I plug in an x4, negative 3, and um, a 6 for y, I'll get a true statement that they're actually part of the equation. If that's a little confusing, I will explain what I mean. So the original equation was negative 3x plus 6y plus 5 is equal to negative 7. And there is a question mark because we don't know if it's true. If we do the um, evaluation of negative 3 as your x and 6 as your y, and we do the math and get negative 7 is equal to negative 7, which is a true statement, that means we would circle A. However, if we got something like some other number, for example, the number 8, if we get something like this, then that's a false statement and we would not consider it at all. So let's take this step by step. I am going to plug in A only. Negative 3 times negative 3 is positive 9. 6 times 6 is 36, plus 5 is equal to negative 7, question mark. All right, and now from here, I don't have to keep going because I know that if I add positive 9 and 36 and a 5, which are all positives, they're going to be a gigantic positive number. In fact, if you do actually add them, you'll get 50. And 50 does not equal negative 7. So that is the incorrect answer, and we will not look at it again. So that is what I mean by taking it step by step. All right, on to the next one. If you could stop early by checking um, that the fact that it could not be a true statement, you should. You want to save as much time as possible so you can get to all the questions on the state exam. So the next one we have is three x, negative 3x, and that's going to be the number negative 2, plus 6 times y, which is the number 0, plus 5, and we're going to see does it equal 7, negative 7. So negative times negative is positive, anything times 0 is 0, and then bring down the positive 5. Again, from here, you could just stop because you are adding a whole bunch of positive numbers so there's nothing negative to be seen and we know that positive 11 definitely does not equal negative 7 so B is also incorrect okay we're going on to letter C always check each and every one of them even if one ends up being the correct answer instead of multiple so negative 3x plus 6y plus 5 is equal to negative 7, and we don't know if it's true. And in this case, our x is 0 and our y is negative 2. Anything times 0 is 0. Positive times negative is negative 12. Bring down the 5 equal to negative 7. 0 minus 12 is negative 12. And then if you have a negative and a positive, that means you subtract them and keep the sign of the bigger number. So negative 7 does equal negative 7. We have our first correct answer. This is a question pretty much testing you if you know how to add, subtract, multiply negative and positive numbers. But don't forget, this is a calculator question, so if you wanted to, you could just use the calculator. So negative 3x plus 6y 
and plus 5 is equal to negative 7 question mark and our x is the number 6 and our y negative 3. Negative 3 times 6 is negative 18. Positive 6 times negative 3 is also negative 18 plus 5. Does that equal negative 7? Negative 18, negative 18 combined to make negative 36. If that's confusing, you could think of taking this as 18 steps to the left, 18 steps to the left, you took 36 steps to the left. This is opposite signs, so you are going to have to subtract and keep the sign of the bigger number. So if I subtract 36 and 5, I get 31, and I'm going to keep the negative because the 36 was negative. And negative 31 does not equal negative 7, so it's not a true statement. All right, here is our last one. All right, so for our very last one, we're going to do 8 and 2. So just set it up as you have. Okay, here's x, here's y. I'm putting an 8 here and a 2 there. Negative 3 times 8 is negative 24. Positive 6 times 2 is positive 12. Plus 5 is equal to negative 7. And remember, these are question marks because we don't know if it's true. I am going to combine like terms. These are opposite signs. So be very careful. You're subtracting them and keeping the sign of the bigger number, which happens to be the 24. 24 minus 12 is 12, and we're going to make it negative because 24 was bigger. And the 24 turned out to be negative. Then from here, we still have opposite signs. So you have to subtract 12 and 5, you get a 7, but you're keeping it as a negative 7 because the bigger number was negative. So negative 7 does equal negative 7. And we have two correct answers for this one, C and E. So you just got to take it step by step.